Within organized retail crime, we are dealing with the more organized side of it. A booster is someone that is going in with the mindset of, I am stealing this stuff not to use for myself, but as a means to an end, either narcotics or money. Then you have from there a property fence, so a place in which boosters are going to take stolen merchandise, and that fence will then resell it like on an online marketplace or a flea market, things of that nature. From there, what we'll do is reach out to our impact units. Um, our impact units have the training and the equipment to be able to run those warrants for us. Uh, what they do is they'll first go in and clear the entire property in which the warrant was executed for and make sure that there's no additional people, firearms, anything that could hurt us coming in as the investigator after it's cleared. And then we're able to go through and look for any of the property that was stated in that warrant. I mean, I assume these are probably $50, $60 a pop. You can see there's about 20 of them there. You know, all these, all this product, these batteries are upwards of $100 and he's got a whole lot of them. So, I mean, this is, this is why we're here. This is a validation that our information and our investigation was, was worth it. A lot of our people that are out stealing merchandise every day are, are addicts. So they are doing it to feed a habit, to get some quick cash so they can go feed whatever their drug of choice habit is. We have seen an increase in boosters that are going out there and brandishing knives. They are pepper spraying our clerks and associates. Start by his bed. That's my calendar. We gather everything up, we bring it back, we itemize everything, and then we work on all the paperwork for after. So a little bit of fun and a lot of paperwork and try to get those victims, which are the retailers, their property back. So the average show should care because eventually, especially the big box stores, um, eventually they will not be able to eat that loss anymore. So you're going to see your prices spike up for the everyday consumer like you and I.